Hello friends, welcome back to another Sunday morning. I hope you are all having a very great day and I hope your day is going to be greater because you are going to be spending your day with me. So today is a very relaxing day and I am happy to spend this day at home because for the last few days and for the last few weekends and vlogs as you have seen there were a lot of events and uh, busy schedules. So finally a day to relax and stay at home feels like feels like the best thing to me right now so yesterday saturday we had we were outside for mo for the most part we went for this birthday party this was the first time that i went for this ice skating birthday party even though i did not ice skate i enjoyed watching others do it so one day definitely i want to try that out but adi was trying it for the first time and even anjali for that matter she stood without holding her hands for a few seconds on the ice skate and the instructors were really nice so it was really fun to watch the kids versus the adults do it for the first time even though they are both doing it for the first time my husband was also trying it for the first time it was fun to see how you know uh, kids can just get things so fast right they just absorb things very quick so they just need a very little bit of time to understand and try something new and even learn it but as adults, for us, it's so difficult to get into something new. But yeah, I think we have to try new things out and definitely I'm going to try it for the next time. But the thing is, we all had a very, very fun day. And then after that, we went for this Diwali Mela. It is very close by to our house. And then I have a very, very happy news because I met one of you over there. I'm so happy. Uh, we just spoke for about one or two minutes. That's all because it was already getting dark and... Um, you know it was a crowded place but I'm so happy to connect with you even if I see one of you I feel like I'm connected to all of you I feel very happy but also a sad thing is that I don't quite remember your name properly I feel like it's at the tip of my tongue but it's kind of slipping away if you're watching this video please comment down below your name I would love to connect with you and um, I'm so happy that we have so many people who stay so close by and we are just meeting through this internet world but yeah i would love to connect with you so please comment down below and this diwali mela we had a lot of stalls um, with a lot of um, indian things like indian clothes and indian jewelry i also got one thing to decorate for diwali but one of my friends was telling she went to a stall and there were kids who were selling some body butters <laughs> which they were making at home and uh, she couldn't say no to them and she ultimately purchased it even though she didn't require it that much so it's nice to uh, see such community and kids and all doing some cultural events and all of that and to sum it all this event was so beautiful that it ended with those lovely fireworks it was so beautiful i will leave the clip here so that you can enjoy it as much as i did yesterday So I think we are all caught up with yesterday's events and let's come back to today. So today morning I woke up at like 7.30. 7.30 in the morning. Oh my god, I'm so happy that we get finally one day like this. And I woke up and I will just leave a clip of my morning skincare routine which I do over the weekends. It's really beneficial to get those dead skin cells out and to clear off and start fresh for a new week. So I'll leave the clip here. Do come back after that so that I can tell you a little more of our morning breakfast. Hey friends, just wanted to show you a very simple skincare routine that you can do whenever you have some free time or whenever, um, especially during the weekends in the mornings, that is when I do this. But it's very simple. It's using the green gram powder, Mongal powder. And um, that is such a natural product that you can get in market. It's great for exfoliating the dead skin out of your um, face or anywhere from your body. So um, I have been going through a lot uh, with a lot of makeup and all those events coming up during the weekends. The last few days were very crazy. So just want to take some time off and cleanse my face and relax a little bit. 
So I'll show you how I do it. I'm gonna um, take a little bowl. I have some honey and a little pinch of turmeric in it. So that will give a very nice brightening effect on your face. But the main ingredient is the green gram powder. So I'm gonna be putting a little bit of that into the bowl. So when I was just letting that thing on my face that I applied dry off, I started preparing the breakfast. So for breakfast, I decided to make this methi dal dahi puri. However long and complicated this sound, this name feels like, it is very very simple and it's very very nutritious. So I'll just take you back to our breakfast preparation. So let's make the dough for the puri. I have fresh chopped up methi leaves here. And then I have the masala powders, turmeric, cumin, red chilli powder which I'm going to add onto the atta along with salt and some ajwain seeds which are really healthy. And then of course these chopped up methi leaves and mashed boiled dal which I'm adding here. And then you need very little water to make the dough, just a little bit in case you need it but otherwise you can just make the dough as such with the mashed up dal. And then I'll just make the dough and then keep it ready while I make the curry. So here I'm just roasting some cumin seeds, red chilies, onions and also one green chilli. Just sorting it very well and here are some boiled mashed potatoes. And again I'm adding these methi leaves here. I'm just finishing up all the methi leaves, adding all the masala powders and this is a nice dry side dish that you can have. And then of course making these puris here, they are really yummy. So you're back now. I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Do give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Do try this out because it's very very delicious. Kids are going to enjoy it. My kids loved it because it was non-spicy. It was delicious and I was so happy that they are having a nutritious meal. So do try that out. And now let's see how the rest of the day goes. Okay friends, the weather is really nice outside. Planning to do something fun. But before that, let's prepare the lunch and go so that, you know, we'll have something to eat while we come back. And we're going to prepare everything as a one pot meal. So the instant pot is getting heated up. We have some ghee in it. I'm going to add some whole garam masala. And then I'm going to add in some sliced onions, minced up ginger and garlic to it. So adding very simple masala powders, chopped up tomatoes and adding the rice. So this time round I added 1 is to 1 ratio of rice and water. The, the rice was already pre-soaked but uh, the pressure that I kept in my instant pot was for 45 minutes. And so if you own an instant pot, try that ratio out and look how yummy your pulao or biryani, whatever you call it as, comes out. Um, I also boiled some eggs and kept the seasoning also ready so that everything can be just mixed up after we come back. Hmm? Such a beautiful weather outside. As you can see the colors for the leaves have started changing. I think it's officially fall now but we are still on and off with the weather and so whenever we get some time to enjoy this warmth trying to get out but this is the first time that we are going on this trail so I thought of taking you all along with me so that you can enjoy this as well Anjali Stop. are you enjoying the trail yeah Stop. Stop. by the time we reach there he'll come back and then again he'll go in the front and then again he'll come back slow 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 Try to be as slow as you can. Yeah, yeah leaves look at the beautiful Anna. Yes. I have to win today. Yeah, tie. Huh? It's a tie. Yeah, the tie. We have a nice shade here. Yeah, yeah we have a nice shade here. Ooh, look at that tree, Adi. Oh, there. Look at that tree. Ooh, what a pretty. 
Yeah. Walking through this place reminds me of Kerala and my hometown there. This doesn't feel like a city at all. Yeah. So happy to stay in a place where you can enjoy this this kind of nature as well. I don't know how this trail will look when it's heavily snowing, when it's the harsh winter time. I think this would probably be closed. We are walking down a trail, right? Yeah. So what if we get lost? How will we know the way back? Yeah, so if, okay, now here there is a road that shows you the way. But if there is no road, how will you know the way back? Do you remember Hansel and Gretel's story? Yeah, you took some like nuts and marbles and stuff and you yeah, Hansel and Gretel, the story, it was really a fantastic story that we used to read during our childhood days. So what Hansel did is he put some pieces of uh, rocks initially so that he doesn't forget the way back home and that time he could go back home and the next time he put pieces of bread and when you throw pieces of bread by the evening all the bread pieces were lost. Because the birds ate them. Yeah, because the birds ate them, right? Dad. So never put any food items okay no. to get your way back dad then the, the house can get the house get the house made up snacks snacks and cake yeah and candy. Who's, yeah and whose candy. house was that um, a witch yeah a witch Yeah, she has a lot of things to explain. I hope if you have little kids, you would have already showed them the story of Hansel and Gretel on YouTube or if you have a book, that's wonderful. Yeah, so let's keep walking. But do you want to put these M&Ms on the trail? No! To remember no. our trail back home? No, there's a road! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Only one. guys this width of the trail is increasing I'm wondering whether this is a trail or not friends finally back now we had our lunch Anjali is sleeping and Adi went for having his hair cut so this trail that we went on was about <laughs> two hours long I don't know the exact distance but it took us two hours to complete the whole circle but the best part of it was that we went on this beautiful walk where we got a lot of time to talk to each other as a family rather than just being at home where you know everyone is involved in their little little tasks so we should take out that time together 
um, especially with a walk with a long walk like that it was possible to have that connection within the family so i really enjoyed that part of it but we were all really tired also at the end of it came back and had this amazing egg biryani ready how do you spend your sunday mornings is it very relaxing or do you watch shows together i love to know about anything that connects the family members any any routine like that if you can share do let me know in the comments down below and yeah i'll probably take a nap now i'll see you all later Okay, in the evening, kids wanted to have pizza, and so I thought, let's make some homemade pizza. And I had this pizza yeast at home, and so it doesn't need any rising time. It can be made very quickly. So, in some lukewarm water, adding that yeast and about three tablespoons of oil in it, and mix it really well. And then here I have one cup of flour along with a little bit of salt. I'm just going to add it all together. make a very thick and gooey mixture and then once that is ready in no time you can make the pizza so once that gooey mixture is ready you can add in rest of the flour that is another cup of flour and then make a nice good dough out of it and then yeah we can just roll it on with a little bit of flour just roll it into the thickness that you like to I didn't wanted to make it extra thin, so I will be making slightly medium thick pizza, and then I had some pizza sauce with me already, so I'm just going to spread that all over. So for the topping, I just added some bell pepper, corn, and shredded mozzarella cheese. Yeah, that's very simple. You can just place it in the oven at about 400 degree Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes until you can see the cheese melting off and then yeah it would be done in no time okay so the pizza is just getting baked there it is just 6:30 in the evening and it's always so dark it has been a very calm relaxing day and i slept for so long i think that i was sleep deprived for all these days and i just finish it all together and i'm back in form so i'm very excited to film the next few videos in the coming week i hope you have subscribed and clicked on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on that and i will see you all in my next one take care and bye